He hello and welcome! I'm Norvegicus and this is my let's play of Drakon the Ancient Gates. Welcome back! This will be episode 16 of our adventure and we are back in Ravenshold now. Today we are going to explore a little bit of Ravenshold and I'm also going to get one of the four items that Re uh, Zagoro is requiring of us. You can see that we are just outside of where the gateway to Serdana is. This is Zagoro's tower right here. On this side of the map is going to be the Grohl's camp, which we are going to explore. There's also a small area right here with two Grohl's that we haven't discovered. We haven't been to, I guess. Some very, very dramatic music for some reason. Oh, we need to also equip our weapon. I don't know why they choose to, like de-equip our weapon every time we go through a portal or change realms like that. Uh, it's kind of weird, but they do. Um, or I guess the, the developers chose to make that a thing. That's another other potion of life. How many do we have of those now? Let's see. We currently have 26 potions of life and 43 health elixirs. That's pretty good. I don't think we need to buy any for now. Yeah, so let's go and explore this area. We don't want to go to the left yet, because that is where the girls' camp is, and I'm going to save that for a little, a little bit later. But let's go over this uh, this way and fight some uh, some black wings, I guess. It's probably more than one. Usually more than one. Let's try not to get hit. There we go. Moving around is the best way to dodge them. Wait, was that another one? No. I thought I saw one. Yeah, so this is the way to the northern tundra. We don't want to go there yet either. Let's uh, kill these uh, enemies right here. Some war dogs and maybe a girl or two. That was a girl at least. Yeah, and I think there are some enemies on here as well. Yep, on the mountainside. He didn't drop anything. Does he though? Yep, he dropped some gold. And the rules say that we have to get all the gold. <laughs> wow, six gold. Oof, that's a lot of gold. Yeah. So the cave entrance down there is sealed off, but the cave on the other side here by the water is actually open, and we can go in there, and we will. It's just a little side area for us to explore. Come on, Eric, land. Thank you. Sometimes he has problems landing because... Um, it's a little bit too tight for him to land, but... Oh, there's another Grohl over there. I didn't see him. Hold on, sir. I'm gonna kill you two. Don't worry. I'm gonna kill all of you. Oh, there are two of them. Okay. No drops? No drops. Okay, let's go into the cave here and see what we can find. I don't know why this dramatic music is playing, because there's nothing dramatic going on. At least not yet. Okay. This is a uh, optional side area with some scavengers. We haven't seen those in a while. Hello there. But as usual, they are in pretty much every realm of the game. They weren't in the Inquisitor's Cave, and they weren't in the Catacombs. But pretty much every place other than those two, they are. We can find them. But now they're super easy to kill with this weapon, because they're so weak. Yeah, right now I think scavengers, grolls, and skeletons are the weakest uh, enemies in the game. And even some girls are stronger than these guys, so... Yeah, and I also noticed that um, the uh, the sound mixing in this game is kind of... Oh, that's, that's good loot. Yeah, the sound mixing in this game is kind of stupid because uh, the music isn't very loud, but when the uh, enemies are screaming, that's kind of loud. Sometimes it's hard to hear what I say when I comment over it, so I'm trying not to. Oh, so this is another one of those uh, hints to the statue we opened in the uh, not the previous episode, but the episode before that. 
Um, but yeah, the sound mixing. So that's kind of annoying when I edit these videos. I notice that sometimes you can't hear what I say, so I have to, like, um, lower down the volume of the game and maybe up the voice, uh, my voice instead. Especially in some parts where I'm attacking enemies. The same goes for, like, war talks and stuff like that too. They also scream very loudly. And when I go to the audio menu in this game, you can't turn down FX sounds. You can only turn down music or master volume. So there's no, like, uh, way to turn down just the FX sounds, unfortunately. I would have loved to be able to just turn that down because it's way too loud um, compared to the music, for example, or the voices when people speak. Because that's not too loud. I can comment over that. No problem. So yeah, we won't go into that cave because that is the way to the northern tundra. If we check the map, uh, we can see that down there is Daymog's hunting grounds. We're not going to go there yet. Uh, probably next episode. And also, when I talked to the uh, blacksmith in Ravensold in a uh, previous episode, the Forgotten Tomb was randomly added to my map, even though you have to go to Daymog's hunting grounds before getting that, usually. I've never seen that glitch happen before, um, but there he is, uh, the Forgotten Tomb. We are going to go there later, but it's closed off right now, so we can't go in there, even if we want to. Because we need a key, so we need to complete the Daymog thing first. This is where it is, that's the Forgotten Tomb. Um, I guess we can kill the, the enemies outside. Yeah, that's the tomb, but you're not supposed to say that until after we've been to Daymog. Because we do need Subornos Journal for that. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of weird. I've never seen that glitch happen before. Alright. It's good loot. I think there are some enemies on top here too? No. No, there aren't. So this is the way to the tomb, but it's, it's locked, as I said, so can't go there. And I believe this is the way to Daymog. Yes, it is. So we are going to just skip that for now. So that is pretty much the outer area of Raven's Hold. So let's go back to the Grolls camp. So we're here. And kill some Grolls and see if we can find one of the first items. Or the first item that... Um, Zagoro requires of us a lot of these ballista things here and now the black wing too somewhere there he is way over there let me kill the ballista first only two shots so it's, it's easy now it's your turn mr black wing or mrs black wing i guess it could it could be a girl it could be a female i don't know how to oh. I don't know how to check the gender of these things. I don't even care. <laughs> maybe they're maybe they don't even have genders. Maybe they are. I don't know the word for it, but you know, like like um, animals that are both genders at once and they reproduce with themselves. Maybe they do that. Hermaphrodites is that a word? I don't know. I'm probably offending someone just by saying that word. <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mean it like that. I just I'm just curious if I know the word for it, okay? That's that's <laughs> it's sad that I have to excuse myself for saying a word. But that's that's the society we live in now, I guess. I don't want to offend anyone. Maybe maybe I'm even offending people for saying that I'm offending people. <laughs> it's so meta. Wow. Well, anyway, <laughs> back, back to the topic at hand, which is this game. Um, enough social commentary from me. More gold. That's always nice. I'm guessing there's more gold to be found around this area. Maybe more enemies as well. Yep. Hello there. Are you stupid or something? If you saw this big-ass dragon, would you run right towards it? Because I wouldn't. I would not. Especially after seeing it, it killing all of my friends first. Without, like, breaking a sweat. Rim, let's get going. Yep. Is there anyone else here, though? I don't think so. 
There might be some more girls or war talks on the mount. I heard, I heard someone. I heard someone say, her. Hello? Oh, there's a guy over there. Two guys, actually. And they both dropped something. Perfect. You can hear the sound of something dropping. Money. Four gold. Come on. Give me some more. Okay, that's, that's better. That's way better. Okay. Uh, there's a little camp over here with some more enemies. This is called the Grolf's camp after all. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna dismount to get these. And there is a cave in the area which we are going to explore. That is the actual Grolf's camp. This is just the outer area. So yeah, uh, if you're wondering, if an enemy comes at us now and gets too close to Arak while I'm not m riding him, he will actually attack the enemies himself. The AI will kill him, uh, or attack him. Uh, but he'll only use the fire attack. He won't use the uh, sound attack or electric attack, for example. Arok. On my way. He only uses the uh, default attack. Which is fine, I guess, uh, because if a girl was running towards me right now, they would have gone for me and not Arok, so they wouldn't attack him. Uh, but he would still defend me. Anything down here? No. Anything over here, though? Mm, doesn't look like anything. Yeah, okay, so that was it for the area around, I think. I don't think there are any more enemies around here but there is a little cave a small cave over here and this is the girls camp cave I'm just gonna check over here no nope. no people over here are girls are there even people can I can I call them people because there are people there they are humans right they are they're monsters um, at least that is something that I would categorize as um, as monsters at least I mean, I don't have all the answers, but, you know. Nothing over here? Nope. They smell me, okay. Hello there. Did it lose health? I'm getting health back. Are you afraid now? Let me put you out of your misery. Come on, Red. Some, uh, mysterious cave music. Yeah, this is the chicken cave. There's there are little chickens in here as well. Uh, don't waste your durability on them because they actually take a surprising amount of hits before they die, and you don't get anything from killing them. You only like lose durability. And I have no idea why. It's so weird that you lose durability from killing uh, chickens, but you don't lose durability from attacking barrels or boxes. I mean. Chickens are alive, I know, but it's still, it's still kind of weird that they chose to program that in. Oh, he's, he's angry, huh? How many are there? Three? Four? Three girls and one warthog? None of them are, are shooting uh, girls or warthogs, so I'm not too scared of these guys. Especially since they are pussies. Oh, I did hit him. I hit him. Oh, it's kind of hard to get around him. You're gonna try to do that, huh? Come on. Stop hiding in the corner, dude. Are you not dead yet? Wow. He took a few hits. Hello there. Yeah. Three hits for these guys. Yeah, the um, girls here in Ravensold are a little stronger than the girls in the Andrelian Isles, for example. But they're still not too bad. I mean, the war trucks are still the stronger of the two. That's a weapon. A rusty short sword. Wow, that's uh, not very good. I'm not going to keep that. Might sell it though if I have uh, the room for it. But I don't want to. I don't want to keep it pretty useless. I mean, it's, it's useless 
in the, uh, at the start of the game, it's useless, so... It's not gonna get any less useless. I was meant to do this, to the side. Hello there! Boom! Oh, he actually took two stabs before dying. And then another hit. Wow. Oh. Come on, dude. That little shield guy. Oh. Yeah. The war talks with shields are going to get more and more fre uh, frequent. It's going to be more uncommon to see them without shields from now on. Which is, which is, um, I totally understandable. It's supposed to be harder. This area is supposed to be harder than the Andrelin Isles or Sardana, so makes sense that the enemies will be stronger. Look at this guy. Four hits for him. Ooh, a lot of dead people around here. Hanging from hooks. Dripping blood into small pots. Must be an awful way to go. So the guy in um, one of the guys in Raven sold, he mentioned that the girls they use uh, the blood of humans for some rituals. And one of the items that Zagoro requires is the blood blood from a pagan altar. So these are the girls pagan altars. I don't know what kind of gods they worship, but I guess they're pagan of some kind. Some kind of pagan. And oh, sorry, friend. But blood from a pagan altar is on my list. Yep. At least your death won't be entirely in vain. So you can see that they're dripping the blood into these pots right here. And um, it's kind of hard to see if you don't know where it is, but on the table right there, or it's, it's a box, but they use it as a table, we have a blood vial. And that's one of the items that Zagora requires. You're small. But yeah, so that was one of the four items. It's the easiest item to get out of the four. Obviously, we can't use it for anything because it's just a key item. But it's still like it's it's there. It's easy to get. So that's that's it. We have to just get out of this cave now. I mean, we, we could just turn back the way we came from, but again, I want to show the entire cave because why not? Get some more loot. We can get some more experience. But if you just want to speed run this game, I guess you can just run in here and get the blood vial and then run back out. I have seen some speedruns of this game, um, but I haven't seen any glitchless speedruns. I've only seen uh, speedruns where they use glitches to get through the game. So, if you want to do a glitchless speedrun of this game, I guess that's how you want to do it. I do think uh, that speedruns in general are pretty, um, pretty uh, impressive, for sure. But I do think that if I had to choose between glitchless and glitched, I would choose the glitchless ones because there are a lot of things that could go wrong in a glitchless run. But of course, that's true for the glitched run too. Let's just say they're both impressive and I wouldn't be able to do it. If you're a speedrunner, then I salute you. I think there's a shooter girl behind the wall here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I do faintly remember that. Or maybe it's just a melee guy. Hmm. Is he behind the, the rocks? There he is. I was, I was saying melee guy. Okay. I thought it was a shooter girl. I don't know why I thought that. You know, sometimes I'm just wrong, you know? It happens sometimes. Yeah, we're very close to the end. Just a few more girls. And chickens, if you want to kill them, I guess. Oh, didn't mean to roll backwards. I am a human, you're right. Do you have, uh, like, poor eyesight? Because it took a long time before you saw me. Hey, come back here. 
I'm finished with you. I mean, now I am, but I wasn't before. And there we go. That was the entire cave. The girls' camp. Oop. The girls' camp. I can see that this episode is on the shorter side, but I mean, I've, I've just released a few episodes that were on the longer side, so I don't feel guilty about that. <laughs> I hear you. You're so sassy, Arok, you know that? I hear you. It's, it's the best thing if you if you uh, call, call for him when he's already landed, and he's like, I'm standing right here. <laughs> no chill on this guy. So, it looks like we are done here, actually. So I'm going to go and sell some stuff in the shop, and then I'll be right back after that. Oh. Met some black wings on the way, randomly. Oh, ouch. Maybe they spawned because I got the blood vial. Sometimes they spawn black wings when you get items in the game, or when you further the story a little bit. Come on, get him. There we go. Didn't drop any health though, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I'm moving towards Demog's hunting grounds now, and there are more black wings spawning. A pair again. Usually in pairs, these guys. Not always, as we've seen, but oh, can I? There you go camera movement, you know. So I've heard people say that have played both games, both Dracon Order the Flame and Dracon the Ancient's Gates, that the camera movement was better in the first game. Uh, I don't know about that because I haven't played the first game, but that might be correct um, for all I know. Another Blackwing. Just one this time, huh? Can you drop some health, please? That would be nice. Because I'm getting a little low. Come on, get him, get him, there we go. No health, unfortunately, okay. Yeah, so there's a little area here with some enemies. He's afraid, poor guy. Should I spare him? Nah. Kill him. Screw that guy. And that was the last Warthog or Grohl in this area. Yeah. Let's go down and get the loot because I think there is there's a chest over there. No, that's a that's a box. Right here. But the uh, the enemies dropped something, I guess. There we go. Yeah. So um, I'm going to end the episode right here. But in the next episode, we are going to go explore the cave right here and see if we can find Daymog and get Suborna's uh, journal. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Drakon the Ancient's Gates. And I also hope that you will join me in the next episode as well. Bye bye for now. I did not hit him. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit him. I did not. Oh, hi, Arok.